What's happening, gamers? I hope you all are having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. We've now been playing on the hardcore for 30 days and we've racked up just over 100 hours of playtime. So today I want to break out and do something a little bit different and make a wee progress slash bank video on the hardcore and show everyone just how far we've come along on our road to Quest Cape. So I thought we would start out here in Lumbridge talking to Hans to check our playtime after a full 30 days played on the account. We have played so far for 101 hours and 39 minutes on the account, which averages to a little bit over 3 hours a day. With the primary goal of getting a quest cap, here are the stats we need to get. Let's see how we stack up so far. As you can see, we have achieved 65 farming. But other than divination, all of our other stats are somewhat lacking. We racked up a massive 1,297 total level and have 804 more levels needed for quest cap. So far, a huge chunk of our levels and XP has come from quests or dailies, but there are a few skills that we've focused on in particular. Prayer, really important for unlocking protection prayers for the 50% reduced damage in combat, which we've knocked out. 80 is required for quest cap, and 95 is needed for the juicy DPS prayers late game. So far, we've trained almost entirely with Nemi, but the few god statues we've managed to do have helped as well. Divination, currently 76 out of the 80 required for Questcape, literally entirely from caches, which I've done religiously. Level 80 divination is also required for invention, which is just an all round huge unlock. Farming, we got this started at Nemi, but moved on to beehives and poffs as soon as I could. That's about it, no planting required. Slay is another skill we're focused on. I kind of cheesed this one just by doing Crosis Reapers daily. Herblor. Now this one's a notoriously difficult skill to train on early iron via conventional methods as getting herbs and secondaries in sufficient quantities in early game is rough to say the least. This has meant extending all Herblore dailies, resetting Jacket Trades Aura and using that on Herblore, putting all Penguin Points, Agaroth, Herby Werby and Troll Invasion Lamps on Herblore too. So with the main goal of Quest Cave, what have we actually done on the quest front? Starting at the top, we've made a solid dent in the Camelot series already. The ones that have 65 defense for King's Ransom and 70 prayer for Piety, Augury and Rigor, we should be good to go. Fairy quests? I really want to get underway for the fairy rings, but I just haven't had time yet. Premi. Now we've just finished getting all the wrecks for Fremi Isles, so getting that quest line underway so I can unlock Lunar Spells and Armor will be super high priority. In the desert, I've done all the Ozen quests so that we can unlock Menifoss and got just started on the desert. So when I get down to the Martial Arts series, hopefully we'll be able to get Desert Treasure out of the way and unlock Ancients. Elf quests we have started, but... Plague's End has some pretty lofty skill requirements as well, so we're just going to keep chipping away at that slowly. We have also started out the Vampire Quest series, made moves on that. Also high skill requirements if we want to get Sunspear unlocked by, is it Lord of Vampirium or River of Blood? It's down there, it's, it's going to take a bit, but we'll get there. All of the Marjorie quest series were just touched on, the sixth age I barely even really looked at. All in all, we've managed to get ourselves a total of 125 out of 435 quest points. This has netted us 5 quest die so far with 1.5 million GP and a few fortunates for when we get Unvention unlocked. We've also unlocked the full Trials Armor, which acts as hybrid gear for levels 25, 50 or 75 depending on your defense level when you equip it. We're also just 25 quest points away from unlocking Vanquish, which will be massive as that acts as a two-hand weapon for all combat styles. Alright, I hear all of you asking, so what's in the bank? Well, not much, I assure you. But let's take a look anyway. Starting at the bottom here, we have my skilling outfits tab, which has the diviner's outfit and a fishing hat. Next up we have the quest tab, which has uh, just random quest junk in there, bunch of keys for when I get the key ring. Not all of them can go on a key ring, some of them can get destroyed. There's probably stuff in here that I could destroy, but you know how it goes, you just sort of hoard things until you get quest cap. Next up we've got the farming tab, as you can see we haven't managed to pick up a broad selection of seeds. Well, we kind of have, but I keep feeding them to my chickens. Uh, other than that we have a few herb seeds, it's not much going on in here, but there's a few seeds that we've managed to get from like crow and 
and stuff. I haven't really been growing anything just yet. The herb lore tab is starting to look okay. We've got a few herbs. I do an H1 daily to transmute some guams into slightly better herbs. And the other ones are starting again, mostly from... I just get them from stuff, I guess. The limps, the cockatrice eggs, and the red spiders eggs and more bar fungus, that's definitely from Grow. Uh, the archaeology tab, because mandatory. This is my elk slash disassemble tab. There's not much in here because most of the elks I keep on top of. And this is my bank money tab. We got a couple of crystal keys. We got our first Triskelion piece, which is kind of cute. We got a few clue scrolls starting to accumulate. We got one one easy casket from a penguin. Uh, our mole bits, our Croesus bits, our shield blood. Yeah, nothing, nothing much. But we could do have over a thousand viz, which is you know twenty mils, twenty mil. It's our magic tab, as you can see, our shop runs are starting to pay off, we're starting to stockpile runes already, and thanks to Crow we have a few soul runes in the bank, which is delightful, and a heap of charms, so when I get around to training summoning, that's going to be nice and easy. The food and potions tab, we've got some raw fish here, lots of rocktails from Crow, some basic food, and then a good number of like supersets and a couple of restores from just regularly hitting the Gobi supply shop. Here comes the fun bit, we've got the gear tab. As you can see, this is absolutely massive. We managed to unlock our signs of life and ring of life already. So we can now craft both the sign of life and the ring of life. So having access to those hopefully will increase our survivability on the amount of loss. Uh, that's kind of my pocket slot and ring slot for all eternity on the hardcore. Uh, amulet, I have an amulet of accuracy for range. Other than that, I don't have anything yet. As we mentioned earlier, we got the Trials gear, which is just acting as level 25 stuff because my defense level is tragic still. Then we have our melee gear. Um, I've worked pretty hard to try and keep up to my stuff. So I've got tier 30 armor for all combat styles, melee, ranged, and magic. We've got mithril, carapace, and batwing. And then I've got tier 40 weapons for melee. I've got tier 40 bow for range. And because magic's level 60, I've got a G staff there as well. So we can do a bit of extra DPS. It's, oh, yeah, we're definitely a G staff warrior. Definitely a G staff warrior. So our last tab here is kind of like just skilling tab. So we've got all of our tools up here. And then that sort of leads down into random sort of supplies. Then we've got bones, divine energies, logs. I've already got over 2,000 magic logs. I don't know how. <laughs> Just sort of have uh, some bowstrings and stuff. Fletching supplies, I guess. And then we've got like mining supplies, then crafting supplies, our urns. I've started making a couple when I've done skilling sessions and then construction. So that about concludes our first progress update slash bank video on the hardcore. 1,297 total levels, 125 out of 435 total quest points for completing 32 of the 162 quests, and a bank worth of about 127 mil and zero deaths. If you enjoyed this slightly different type of video, if you hated it and just want us to go back to the usual episodes, or if you want to know more about methods used for training the hardcore or anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check us out on Twitch if you want to see the mullet live in action. Link in the description below.